Hello, hello, my friends. I have a dedicated candle review here for you today. We are going to be talking about Kringle Candles Snowbird. Now, this is a medium sized two wick tumbler, kind of their standard Kringle jar that they are known for. This is a 100% soy wax formula. This candle was actually released in late 2022. I believe it was part of their holiday winter lineup at that time. Now, this might be a little bit of a spoiler alert for this review, but this candle is actually a repurchase for me. So that's probably letting you know um, what I think of this candle. So the fragrance notes on this candle the top notes are orange zest snowfall and balsam mid notes of peppermint cassis iced cranberry base notes of golden amber cedar and juniper berries now this is a candle that i particularly enjoy burning in the month of january in fact i think that this is a beautiful january fragrance because it's not necessarily a tree fragrance that I would think of around the holidays. You know, it's not a heavy tree fragrance. I do pick up some of that winter air in the background. Um, you know, whatever accords they are saying in that top note to make up the snowfall fragrance. Um, a tiny bit of balsam. Um, I do get a, a slight, slight tree note in here, but it is not... I wouldn't necessarily smell this candle and be like, oh, that's that's a Christmas tree or that's any actually particular type of tree. Um, but there is, there is a tree note there. I also get some of the coolness of peppermint, but again, it's not distinctly peppermint. This is not Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint or even the peppermint that I smell in their, uh, what is that, the peppermint cocoa type of fragrance. I think the peppermint probably just lends a coolness to the candle. It gives kind of that cool air accord. I do detect a little bit of orange zest in there, um, as well as iced cranberry. Um, that cranberry note and the orange are in here. Again, though, this is not like a typical fall cranberry fragrance. This is a really well done candle. It's slightly fruity with a mix of of cool winter air. I feel like that's the best way that I can describe it. I have really, really enjoyed this candle. In fact, the first time that I had it was in a three wick format in late 2022. I burned it in January of 2023 and really enjoyed it and decided this year to go ahead and purchase another one. In fact, I think I got this two wick I want to say it was probably in mid-December that Kringle was running these medium-sized jars for like $10, um, which was a screaming deal because I think these uh, run around $25 or $26 for these this medium-sized jar. At the time that I am filming this, Kringle is actually having like a snowfall sale or something like that. And the large size jar of this, which normally retails for $31, is on sale for around $21. So um, yeah, I, I've, I really like the fragrance on this. Let's go ahead and talk about the performance. So in terms of the burn, we all know that Kringle's 100% soy wax, I will just go ahead and turn this to the side. We see how cleanly that wax burns. The wicks are doing really well. You're not seeing any sooting. It's a very, very clean burning candle. Strength and throw on this one. I would say without a hurricane, this candle is around a six. It's definitely detectable. And um, it does, it performs a little bit better in like my closed concept master bit master bedroom, or if I place it in another bedroom on one of the other sides of the house, it, it does well there. However, I will say that the throw is pretty good, even though um yeah, it, it fills up those close concept rooms pretty well. I can still smell it pretty nicely though if I place it in my open concept living room. Uh, for reference, if you're new to my channel, I always give these dimensions on my candle reviews. So I'm sorry if you've been with me for a while and you find it annoying, but uh, my home is about 1800 square feet. It is a single story. It was built in 2004. It has very high ceilings in the living room, uh, lower ceilings in the kitchen, but the kitchen does open up to the living room. It's kind of that early 2000s open concept. Bedrooms are lower ceilings with more closed concept going on. Um, I live in Arizona, which is a very dry and most times of the year hot climate. Although right now we are having weather you know, our winter weather varies from daytime highs in the upper 50s to mid 60s. Um, so that is kind of the climate that I live in. And I give you all of that information just because I think that it's important to know. Um, I think all of those factors can really affect um, a candle's performance. 
I do like to burn a lot of my candles in a hurricane, and when I place this candle in a hurricane, the strength and throw jumps up to an eight. It's it's pretty sound. I can smell it in my living room. I could smell it in my kitchen then. Um, it won't really wade into the bedrooms, which is okay, because I tend to like burning this candle with a combination of some other candles from my collection, um, which I will talk about here in just a moment. Overall, I also kind of like the packaging on this. I think that little bird just looks so cute and festive for the winter time. But again, if you burn your candles in like a colored hurricane, I suppose that won't matter. Um, some of my favorite fragrance pairings that I like to burn this candle with, I love burning this with Homeworks' Snow-Tipped Pine. Um, a very similar candle to that fragrance is Kringle Candles Winter Wonder. Um, that just gives me kind of that like frosty air vibe, but there's a hint of fruitiness. They just, they complement each other very, very well. I also like burning it with Kringle Candles Away in a Manger or Vintage Pomander, which are um, definitely more heavy orange type of fragrances, but they're not, they are definitely more like winter orange fragrances in my opinion, as opposed to like say a fresh summery orange fragrance like Homeworks' is Valencia Orange. Um, there's a little bit of some spice mixed in with those. So those are some fragrances. Also, if you have Yankee Candles Holiday Zest, it burns nicely with that. So those are just some suggestions that I have for you if you are looking to pair this fragrance with some other candles in your collection. Overall, because I have repurchased this candle, I would give this one two thumbs up. It's a very nice candle for the winter months. Even I say that this could possibly uh, maybe carry you into the months of March, depending on your climate, if you're a seasonal burner, or if you're not a seasonal burner, then you just burn whatever you want year round and you go on ahead and do that. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. I do not, um, this video is not sponsored by them, nor did I receive this candle in PR. Um, this is just my honest review on it, but I do have a discount code with Kringle. It is KD15. It should save you 15% on your order with Kringle. You can always try applying the code with um, sales. I do know that oftentimes, um, especially if the sale is like 30 or 40% off, you usually can't combine a discount code, but you can always try doing that. And also I would really encourage you to sign up for Kringle's rewards program because they're pretty generous with that. It's like a loyalty program that you would have at like your grocery store or anything like that. You earn points for your purchases and um, they, they rack up pretty quickly. In fact, quite a few times I've been able to redeem some rewards points to get like free shipping when they've been running a good sale. So that's a way that you can also be saving money. You guys know me, I'm, I'm always gonna tell you, get the greatest discount that you can. But if you are um, looking to purchase this candle, I do have a discount code and you are more than welcome to use it. That is an affiliate code and I want to say thank you in advance if you choose to use it, but I completely understand if you're not comfortable with that either. So. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comment box down below if this is a candle that you have had your eye on or maybe it's one that you have in your collection and that you enjoy. Um, always feel free to share your feedback with any of the candles that I review as long as you remain respectful of myself and others within our community. I will always encourage that because we it's always good to get a lot of opinions about a candle. I think that's important in this day and age when we are all watching our pennies. So I want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me. Subscribe if you're new, and I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.